Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I have a little project I want to share with you today. So um, I finally finished my little baby boy album. Um, my pastor's wife is having a baby. And so I wanted to do this for her. And um, I am pleased with the way that it turned out. So I'd like to share what I did and show it to you. Now this is an 8x8 album. And it is quite heavy and quite chunky. It has six big pages in it. Um, I used the paper line Baby's First Year. It was from Michael's. It was, let's see if I have it here. This right here. I didn't use all of the pages because I didn't want to make it a month by month. Like it's set up like that. To me, it didn't look very babyish. But So I used bits and pieces and then I had a few sheets of other paper that I used. So on the front cover, <coughs> excuse me, I used the little paper that says Hello Baby and then I made this frame that she can put baby's newborn picture, sorry for the glare, and then um, I put a mat in it. She can either put it right directly on the paper or put it on the mat. And I created this mat using this die right here. This is the die that I had gotten from Queen and Company to review. And um, it makes like a pocket into like a gift bag so you can slip your card into it. I have a video that I did earlier on that. If I remember it, I will link it below. But I use this and then I, when I cut it out, of course, um, I went about an eighth of an inch beyond the stitch part because I really like the stitching on it. So I just measured an eighth of an inch, took this off. Um, an eighth of an inch from the border and I used an exacto knife and a ruler and I cut the frame out. And then for the the little uh, cover, I didn't have a piece of acetate big enough. So I took one of my clear bags and cut it down to size to fit in there. And then used foam tape and um, double sided tape to put that on there. But I thought that came out really good. <laughs> And then I just used some little buttons and some ribbon trim um, just to decorate the front page a little bit. One to keep it kind of simple since it's a little boy. I definitely did not want to do frilly. I did use corner protectors on the front and the back covers. Um, you know, it gets used quite a bit, so I didn't want it to be ragged. On this side, I strung some buttons with some linen thread and put them on the side. I thought they were really cute, the little baby bottle and the little... Um, blocks and then just little blue and yellow and green buttons kind of match the paper. So on the inside cover this was a, a page in the book and I think there's about four or five of these pages actually and it says welcome home and it's got little house and trees and stuff on there. So I took another piece of this paper and cut the welcome home part out so it would be a little bit more pronounced because it was just kind of flat on the page. And I just inked around it with some blue ink. I created this little mat right here using these lacy borders. I used the largest size, which is, a, I don't know, um, about four inches. And I cut it twice, once on this with this baby boy paper and once with white. And then I glued them together and I kind of offset it so that you can see a little bit of the white on the frame just to help the blue pop out against this busy page. Then I just had this little clear sticker and I put it on white cardstock and then bubble cut around that. So I thought that came out really cute. And then on this page, this was one of the cut parts in the um, paper. And um, it has like, you know, your important stuff, your dates, times, how long the baby was, what was the weight, and then it just says it's a boy down here. And then I just used um, one of my um, Friskers punch to punch this little ruffle edge here. Then this opens up and it is magnetized. And then it has this little footprint mat here I thought was really cute. And then opening it up on the inside has a little mat here. And then this big frame, it says, hello, baby, like the front. And then each page has a mat on the inside. It's a double mat. Um, so there's six books, and so it has six little mats 
on each page. On um, each page has a mat in it, and that just slips back, slips back in here. On this page, I just created a just an overlapping page, then put a picture here. This stuck with a magnet, a picture here, and then two little pictures on the side here, and then a big picture in the middle. On this page, I just created this little half page. Um, uh, it just has a baby sticker down here and then the blue fit print. This is magnetized. All my pages are magnetized. I'm not going to say that again. <laughs> now I put a little journaling card in this little pocket on the inside. And this is where I started doing the months. Like this is one month, two months. And then this opens up like this. And then, of course, the map. On this page, I just created a pocket. This was a cut apart that says you are my sunshine on it. That came from the line. And I just created this little mat. It's got a little rubber ducky diaper pan and a little sticker that says snuggles. And then this one, I used the next size down on the lacy frames. And just created two little small picture things. And just put some little boy stickers on there. That actually came from the Dollar Tree. Okay, on this page, I created a belly band, but on this one right here for four months, I put this little piece of card stuck in here so that she even know that this is not glued all the way down and that she can stick a picture up here and behind here. Then this just opens up like this, just to create some little extra picture spaces, or this would make a nice journaling spot. And then... This is inside the belly band, just a little rubber ducky. And then on the inside, I just have two little mats here, and then again on the back side. And then this just slips back in here like this. And the journaling page. And then this side right here has like a little layer of teddy bears for five months. This opens up like this. Has a little journal card in here, I mean a picture mat in here. Um, and then it has a mat on this side over here. And this side over here, um, there's a big space on the front for a picture. This opens up. There's a little mat on the inside. And then I created this little four by six picture album that she could put more pictures in. And then, of course, she has this size right here, too, that she can also use for pictures. And then on this page, I created a waterfall. Uh, this lifts up like this, and it's just a little waterfall. It's not a pull tabby one. This one says, babies are a bit of stardust blown from the hand of God. On this page, it opens this way has a big mat here and then two little mats on this side. Then this page right here is held together by these two little diaper brads and a little tied. I'm not going to untie it because I finally got the bow tied right. But it has a big mat on the inside. And my camera is dying so I'm going to try to hurry with this. This is another belly band. On this I have a little pocket that she can put lots of pictures and stuff in. Two mats on the inside and the back also has like a little pocket. And then this just slides back in. And on this side, I just have pocket here. And then this falls down like this. Has a rubber ducky and then a big mat on the inside. And on this page is a pocket. And I just put created lots of little mats for it. And then on the back, I just created this little welcome thing. This is welcome to the world, sweet baby. We're celebrating you today. And then these are kind of parts from the paper line, um, like growth chart and milestones. So I put those back there. There's lots of rooms for pictures in here and, and, and journaling spots and different things like that. So that is my album. Please let me know how you like it down in the comment section. 
And I am taking orders for albums. If you would like to have one, I can do 8x8, 6x6, any size you want, basically. My albums start at $50. And an album that's 8x8 with this many pages of stuff in runs about $125. But there again, if you're interested, please leave me a comment or message me, and we can talk about it. And also, please make sure that you like this video. Um, if you liked it, it makes YouTube notice me just a little bit more. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do that by hitting that little red button right there somewhere. <laughs> and don't forget to tap the bell so you can be notified when I upload new videos. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all again soon. Bye-bye.